1915, Paris Island officially became a Marine Corps recruit depot. The depot's mission is simple, to make United States Marines. We make Marines by recruiting quality young men and women and transforming them through the foundations of rigorous basic training, our shared legacy, and a commitment to our core values, preparing them to win our nation's battles in service to the country. Our core values of honor, courage, and commitment instilled in recruit training make the United States Marine Corps the world's finest fighting force. Although recruit training may have changed over the years, the end product remains the same, a basically trained United States Marine. You will not run, you will walk fast, and you will get on all my yellow footprints, do you understand? Yes, sir! Grab all of your stuff and get out right now! Scream, I, sir! I, sir! All you move faster right now! Scream, I, sir! I, sir! Walk fast and get on the yellow footprints right now! Where the difference begins, recruit receives. Upon their arrival at MCRD Paris Island, young men and women take their first step toward becoming a United States Marine. As they stand with the yellow footprints, firmly at attention, heels together, head and eyes straight to the front, and thumbs along their trouser seams, they are given a speech by the receiving drill instructor on how these recruits are expected to conduct themselves during recruit training. You are now aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina, and you have just taken the first step toward becoming a member of the world's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. Starting now, you will train as a team. You will live, eat, sleep, and train as a team. The word I will no longer be a part of your vocabulary. Now, standing before you are two silver hatches. These silver hatches signify your transformation from a civilian to a United States Marine Corps recruit. Therefore, you will pass through these hatches once and never again. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Scream, yes, sir! Yes, sir! Two recruits, grab the hatches. Yes, sir! Scream, I, sir! Yes, sir! Are you get in right now? Yes, sir! Scream, I, sir! Yes, sir! Get in, move faster right now. Scream, I, sir! Yes, sir! Upon entering the Recruit Administration Center, recruits are assigned their platoon number and training company and complete paperwork that is necessary to begin their training. Next, the recruits make their way to the telephone room where they will make a scripted and final call home. This is Recruit Disciple. I have arrived safely at Paris Island. Please do not set any of I will contact you in 39 days by the business address. Thank you for the support. Goodbye for now. Hurry up, Professor! In receiving, recruits are given their first regulation haircut. This removal of hair and civilian attire represents a stripping away of their individuality. Before training can begin, the drill instructors must take an oath in front of the series commander to reaffirm their commitment to the recruits and to the Marine Corps. These drill instructors will be with the recruits throughout all three phases of recruit training. Drill instructors are handpicked from across the Marine Corps and are the epitome of what it is to be a United States Marine. Physical training, or PT, is a monumental part of both recruit training and the Marine Corps way of life. Marines must be physically fit to successfully fight on the battlefield and continue to win America's wars. Recruits PT several times each week and must prepare for the physical fitness test and combat fitness test for later on in recruit training and their Marine Corps career. Core values guided discussions. Definition of moral courage. To do what is right despite peer pressure, fear, shame, humiliation, and other responsible consequences, do you understand? During these guided discussions, the senior drill instructor sits down with his or her platoon 
and has open discussions with the recruits regarding the core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Confidence Course Here, drill instructors focus on building confidence in recruits by pushing them to overcome various challenging obstacles. Martial Arts Program. McMap is the official hand-to-hand -hand martial arts style used by the Marine Corps. The tan belt level of McMap teaches basic techniques such as strikes, chokes, counters, and falls. Close order drill. Recruits practice drill every day and therefore it is a central part of recruit training. Drill teaches recruits instant willing obedience to orders, discipline, uniformity and moves the platoon from one place to another. Recruits are evaluated twice on close order drill during recruit training. Initial drill and final drill. Basic water survival. Marines are an amphibious fighting force and therefore must be confident in the water. Recruits must pass basic water survival during recruit training. The evaluation consists of 25 meter swim, high dive jump, two minutes of treading water, and stripping a combat load underwater. Training day 24 marks the beginning of second phase, when recruits must overcome their fears and scale down a rappel tower. Watch around, watch around. Twice down. Twice down. Lock in the gate. Lock in the gate. The gate is locked. The recruits spend several hours in classes over how to safely and successfully rappel down a wall. After completion of the rappel tower, the recruits move on to a greater challenge, the gas chamber. The recruits are taught how to put on the gas mask in less than 10 seconds. Recruits are then tested on their newly gained knowledge of gas mask procedures with CS gas. The gas chamber is used in order to build a recruit's confidence with the gas mask procedures in case it is needed on the battlefield. The Marines live by an ethos. Every Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. No matter what the military occupational specialty, every Marine is expected to know how to confidently aim and fire the M16A4 service rifle. This warrior ethos sets the Marine Corps apart from all other branches of the United States Armed Forces. Recruits must fire their M16s at targets from 200 300 and 500 meters. At the different positions of sitting, kneeling, standing, and prone, recruits have 50 rounds to tally 190 points out of 250 to pass qualification. On training day 48, the recruits begin the third and final phase of recruit training, where they are challenged on everything they have been taught during their time on Paris Island. The Combat Fitness Test, one of two fitness tests in the Marine Corps, consists of three graded events, an 880-yard sprint, ammo can lifts, and the maneuver under fire course. Final drill, where recruits are ultimately tested in their abilities in close order drill on the renowned Petros Parade Deck. Forward! March!
During their time in recruit training, recruits have spent over 100 hours practicing close order drill as a platoon. Final drill is the last time they will step onto the parade deck until graduation. On training day 63, the recruits awake at 0200 hours to begin their six mile hike to Page Field. Just the first challenge of many for the culminating event, the Crucible. For the next 54 grueling hours under simulated combat conditions, the recruits will cover 40 miles by foot. They are now running on very few meals and very few hours of sleep. It will be the most difficult challenge of their lives so far. guided discussions are held during the crucible to explain the heroic actions of Marines of the past. Yes, sir. You understand that, right? Yes, sir. You all have to move as one. You understand? and hungry, the only obstacle standing between these recruits and earning the title of Marine is a nine mile hike to the Iwo Jima Monument. There they will watch their nation's flag rise and be awarded the coveted eagle, globe and anchor, the emblem of the Marine Corps by their drill instructors. Thus, completing the transformation and earning the title of United States Marine. The last evaluation these Marines must undergo before graduation is the battalion commander's inspection. Uniform inspections are held in order to check for serviceability and fit of uniforms, 
as well as test the Marine's bearing, knowledge, and attention to detail. Graduation day, the day they have been anxiously awaiting since first stepping on the yellow footprints. The platoons march on the Petros parade deck one final time for the graduation ceremony. Marines have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. They have departed Paris Island for combat and conflicts throughout the world. After surviving 13 weeks of the toughest, most demanding basic training the United States military has to offer, these young men and women, like hundreds of thousands before them, have earned the title United States Marine. The Sea Eagle instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This is the last and probably the most welcomed order the new Marines received from the Sea Eagle instructors. Footprints right now. You are now aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. <laughs> 